I'm, I'm really sorry. Naomba radhi hakika. While down on his knees at the podium of the Faith Ministries Church in Current Sunday, William Samoe Ruto breaks down. Yeah, that is uh, William Ruto. Yeah, I came across this and uh, at a point I felt for him, you know. But unfortunately, there is no other choice. Corrections has to be made for the people to be taken seriously. That's the only way forward for Africans. You know, because um, uh, I don't think if people will be able to count how many families that will cry more than this in the future, when that particular issue, that particular uh, decision of the GMO starts hitting them. In the same country where it is said that a lot of people cannot afford hospital bills. You know, under your watch as the president, some of your lawmakers are using uh, bands of uh, 49 million um, Kenya shillings that if you convert it to Naira, if you convert it to my country currency, it's around 594.2 million. Imagine that in a, in a country where it is said that a lot of people are dying of hunger, a lot of people cannot afford hospital bills. What happens when that case of GMO comes up? We, have, we really have to take all these things serious and do the right thing now. And this is a call to so many other African countries, to so many other people in other African countries, the right things have to be done. Everybody have to get involved in most of these policies, in most of this governance, so that the right thing will have to be done for Africa to have as an, to be taken seriously. You know, I do not want to say much about this. I just came across this particular thing and just decided to bring it on for a lot of most people to see what the masses can do, you know. PSA for anyone going to the grocery store. Yes, even natural health food stores. Next time you're in the produce aisle, please be on the lookout for this label. And whatever you do, do not go near it. Appeal, or Ed Appeal, is a World Economic Forum and Bill Gates-funded product that is being sprayed on fruits and vegetables, which are on the verge of spoiling, so that they appear fresh and last longer. Even more frightening is the fact that Appeal has been approved for use on USDA organic produce under the name Organapeel. The main ingredient found in the Appeal coating is mono and diglycerides, which are extracted from grapeseed oil. This is then processed with the use of two solvents, which are ethyl acetate and heptane, both of which are hazardous chemicals known to seriously damage internal organs in the case of repeated exposure. This coating cannot be washed off. Additionally, the World Health Organization's International Agency for Research on Cancer, or IARC, recognized glycidol, another name for these same ingredients, as, quote, probably carcinogenic to humans. So why are they spraying this literal poison on our food? Well, ironically, the appeal coating is generally recognized as safe meaning the safety review was completed by the food and chemical industry as opposed to the FDA. Not that they're at all better. And while the approval process for these toxic solvents are rather unclear, one thing is for certain. Appeal should be kept far, far away from our food supply. The ability of this $2 billion Bill Gates-backed startup to just quietly slip in to extend the life of food with absolutely zero proof of preserving any nutritional value should remind every American of the importance of eating organic, local, and chemical-free food. But if the evidence here isn't enough to convince you, take a look at what Appeal allegedly does to the food itself. When she opens it and she breaks it in half, it gets very tough and doesn't really break. And if, when it pulls, it's like it's glue. Like, it's not even breaking, like at all. Like it, and I know you guys can't feel the texture, Avi, right? Because it's a video. But, like, it's, it literally feels fake. Is it clear yet? The tyrannical globalists will stop at nothing to completely railroad anyone trying to live a wholesome, healthy life. 
They'll do anything to try and kill off the resistors who refuse to align with their dystopian, dismal future, where you'll be forced to eat bugs and own nothing and be happy. It's time to start growing your own food or buying food from your local farmer's market if you don't already. These megalomaniacs are on a mission to destroy all that is good in this life, and we absolutely cannot let them win.